And you went to a market today that almost didn't happen. Some may call it a uh, Christmas miracle. Yeah, it's been uh, catching a lot of headlines lately. It's one of the most bizarre controversies of the holiday season. The It's a Christmas Market at Bingham's shut down by the organizer who gambled away the deposit money. But thanks to some hard work from vendors and a helping hand from the community, the market went ahead today with a new name. It's a Christmas miracle. After weeks of scandal and controversy surrounding the third annual It's a Christmas Market at Bingham's, the newly named A Holiday Market opened its doors on Sunday. It's amazing. I, I actually didn't think it was going to happen. I've cried a few times today, I'll be honest. Um, it, like, I'm just filled with uh, joy and happiness. Event participants were blindsided last month when then organizer Stacy Cliff announced it was canceled. She confirmed to CTV News she gambled away thousands of dollars of deposits paid by the vendors. Roughly the 30000 It could be more, but I'd say the roughly 30000 A lot of people use this for their Christmas money and their income. To know that somebody just kind of pulled the rug out from underneath everybody was just shocking. She should be in the naughty list for the next 25 years. But Christmas had a comeback. A group of vendors banded together to find new sponsors to cover the costs. Bingamans also gave a significant discount for the venue. Everything fell into place and uh, and here we are today and I'm, I'm so glad that we're here. Making it possible for more than 180 vendors to deck the halls of the conference center. Heritage animals named after the Beatles. This is Ringo the orangutan. My business name is Lithostalgia and what I make is 3D night lights and different sort of keeps Sakes. A happy ending for everyone. What better way to ring in the holiday season? Probably could write something like a Hallmark type of movie. But the fact that we could turn this around and make it a happy thing has been amazing. Tyler Kelleher, CTV News, Kitchener. Now, just after 5 o'clock today, we got word from police that they did make an arrest in this case. A 52-year-old Cambridge woman has been charged with fraud over $5,000, police received 55 reports of fraud from vendors with the It's a Christmas Market and another 12 reports relating to a second event called Shop Alusa. The woman is scheduled to appear in courts on December 20th.